Okay, so understanding the definitions of heat and work is basically asking you to be aware of the relationship between the change in internal energy being the sum of the heat, which is Q plus work. But you have to be able to determine the signs for delta E, Q and or W, depending on what the question is. OK, so remember, we define the system as the chemical reaction or the process. So just these gases is the system. OK, everything else is the surroundings. That means the piston is the surroundings. The cylinder is the surroundings. The water bath is the surroundings. All of that is the surroundings. OK, so in terms of sign convention, a negative sign means that relative to the system, the energy or the heat or the work is leaving the system, is being done by the system. And a positive sign means that energy, heat, work, etc. is, um, if you like, being absorbed by the system or is being done to the system. So the net flow is going from the surroundings into the system and the system is absorbing it. OK, so that is our sign convention. So first of all, we've got to decide what is being given to us in the question. So this reaction is absorbing 211 kilojoules of energy. So that means our delta E, which I'm just going to write delta E, is positive defined relative to the system because the system is absorbing energy and the amount is 211 kilojoules. The temperature of the water bath is monitored. The water bath is part of the surroundings and it tells us that heat flows into the system. So it's flowing out of the water bath and into the system. So Q would be negative for the water bath, but positive for the system. And we are defining all of these for the system. So Q for the system is going to be plus 388 kilojoules. So what we are solving for is work. So we're going to rearrange and solve for work. So work is going to be delta E minus Q. OK, let's stick those numbers in. Um, so 211 minus 3A8 is going to give me a value for work of minus 177. OK, that is interesting. OK, so the minus I get for the work is telling me that the gases are doing work. So the gases are doing work on the system, which means that they are going to be expanding and moving up the piston inside the cylinder or whatever. That is what that negative sign means. OK, so now we are going to have to fill in what is going on here. So these first two questions is the reaction exothermic or endothermic is talking about the flow of heat. OK, so we know that the heat is flowing into the system. That is what we define as an endothermic reaction because the system is absorbing heat from the surroundings, which the water bath is part of. Therefore, the temperature of the water bath has to go down because that heat is being absorbed by the gases. Does the piston move in or out? Because we have a negative value for work, that means the piston is moving out because the gases are doing work on the surroundings. The piston is part of the surroundings, so the gases are expanding against them, pushing out. Does the gas mixture do work? Yes, it does work. OK, if the gases were being compressed by the cylinder, well, then the cylinder is part of sorry, the piston in the cylinder is part of the surroundings. So that would be the surroundings doing work on the gas, which would be a positive value of W for work. So this last question, we've already calculated how much work is done on or by the gas. Now, I believe Alex just wants the numerical value because we've already stated that the gas does work, which implies a negative sign. So that would just be 177 kilojoules.